Go, haul ass, dude. Dudes. Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Uh, maybe. Let's check the red. Bacon. Engaged. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. No, please. Not the coffin. What's that sound? No, please. No, please. Uh... It's coming from over there. No, please. The coffin. No, I don't like coffins. Yeah. Let's open it. Let's not open it. By force. I don't think that's going to happen. What's in the well, box? Try, What's right? in the box? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Wait, what? Who said that? Uh, I forget. Where'd you pull that out of your ass? Anyway, we've got to try. <sighs> Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not gonna open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? No. I don't think I know. Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone, or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. <sighs> Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. Here, I want to see something. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. It's not nine. Damn, I thought it was going to be nine. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Damn, he got you, dude. <laughs> Who said that? You. God, that sound makes me nervous. Uh, fine. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Holy what? shit. You gotta be kidding me. Snake! You? Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh. The fuck? Hmm. I see. I like his I robe. I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Right. I like the cult robe. Is all this stuff it looks good. Related to that notary game that was played nine years ago. Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? Just know it. This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Does he even have a bracelet on? Yeah, you can't see his five. wrist. We're stuck here then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? I, uh, I found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. Ooh. Zero's bracelet. What did you say? Oh, yeah, in the captain's cabin. Are you 
saying that Seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, the captain's quarters, she asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. All right, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Because 7 plus 2 plus 0. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the 0 bracelet gets picked up by the red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Why isn't it opening? Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the mm. zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Mm. Oh, got it! They decided to use the following combination. So they just tried seven plus two plus zero and it wasn't nine. So that means that it's not zero and it's not, um, Nine. So zero isn't zero or nine. Um, what if it's ten? It could be ten. Um, if it's ten, then we would want snake would be two plus June pay would be seven plus the bracelet would be seventeen. Junpei plus 7 would be 12. Press the bracelet would be 22. Snake plus Junpei would be 7. Plus 7 is 14. Press the bracelet would be 24. None of those would work if it is 10. Let's try this. Let's try snake, me, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is 2. No. Didn't open. So... 5 plus 2 plus 0 does not equal 9. I guess it's not 2. So it's not 0, it's not 9, it's not 2. Then? They decided to use... Let's try me, 7, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is 6. Holy shit. So zero equals six. Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. Wait, what's June's bracelet how is that then? Possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go! But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last He's gonna go Super Saiyan. Resort? Got 
to admit, you really surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were going to get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. Wait, what did he do? Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chance. Wait, what did he do? Alive, let alone unscathed. Does novel mode say anything? Because it didn't show shit. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't say anything even in novel mode. Think about it. Hmm. He could have a nine somewhere. Like in the nine bracelet, right? Or maybe his was zero? Oh, maybe. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. Oh. Lol? Oh, shit. It's not like a normal person's arm. Son of a bitch. It's not a real arm. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. It's that e Ah, gotcha. It's correct. that easy. He just takes his fucking prosthetic off. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. But wouldn't Zero know? Like, assuming he put the bracelets on, he'd be like, I... It'd be pretty obvious if you were putting a bracelet on a fake arm, right? One would imagine. Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh, it's Toy Story 3. Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Oh, true. Snake wasn't a target, according to the paper. Because he was there nine years ago, and they wanted to avenge the souls that were lost or whatever <clears throat> so he gave him a little cheat code i guess yeah, maybe right over here how did you know that well i'd be happy to regale you with the story i imagine it should only take half a day or so <laughs> <sighs> if you pull it the door ought to open got it Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Why? Why is there another one? Nine hours, nine... Nine hours, ten people, eleven doors. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Oh, shit. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. <laughs> Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh yes, you are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Huh. Uh-oh. Your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm, clearly not. Normally I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover... Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover... I said stop it! Don't listen to him, Snake! 
What happened to Clover? Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. What? Oh shit, he opened his eyes, dude. I'm sorry, did I stutter? Did I stutter? I killed her. <sighs> dude, this I ending is intense. With less suffering. Look at this, and this is just like one branch off. A bullet this is nuts. In her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. Okay, brother, let's not get creepy about it. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. That feeling was... Sir. I confess, I feel rather excited. Sir. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. You got the homicide boner. Ah, so you're going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it! Don't listen to him, Snake! Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <laughs> snake! Snake! Rip. Snake! Lotus! Hurry! This way! <sighs> Incineration will begin in five minutes. Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. Goddamn, Seven gets three whole bullets? I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well... It looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Damn. Goodbye. Kill you? What? No, that's impossible. Should I'll aim for the you. head? I'll kill you. St stay away from me. Get back. Just shoot him again. Hello? Stop! If you come any closer, I'll. I'll... Get away from me! Listen to me! I said, don't come any closer! Hey, he has his arm back. What the fuck? How did he put his arm back on? Shit! You bastard! Just shoot him, idiot! Oh, there goes every bullet. Way to go, moron. Also, rip snake. Holy you. fuck, he's a monster! You won't get away! You, you son of a bitch! You, you're a monster! Get off me! Let me go, damn you! Imagine shooting a blind guy six times and not just shooting him in the head. Yeah. Uh, Zero out of ten bad guymanship. Uh, this is it, Ace. The punished you're snake. Burn to death together. What? Nani? Snake's just gonna get, get on top get of him you. and die. Get off! Let me go, you monster! Okay, 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 look. Think about it this way. 
My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. You're, you're not wounded too seriously. I, I'm sure they can fix you up easily. I only shot you six times. I can, I can save you. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. Pathetic. <laughs> Begging for your life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake, let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't see. He's fucking over. losing. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? Hasta la vista, baby. Snake! Snake! Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! Holy shit, look at his blurry arms. No! He's fast! I Skipped Dude, nine. You got a choice, kid. Don't blame me for this, all right? Get destroyed. Holy Zero! shit. You got fucked. Uh, 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 hey, wait, Junpei. Junpei, where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're going to bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait. All right? <laughs> uh, I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. Just stay awake. It's that easy. Yes. It's that easy, dude. Santa! I don't trust June anymore, dude. Uh, damn it. Now that the zero is six? Where did they go? Does that mean her six is zero? No, it can't be because then they wouldn't have been open, door open doors like they thought they would have been able to. But I still don't trust her now. Wait, what? 
Connie. What? No, no. It, it oh, that's what it's, he. It's Akane. Impossible. Okay, she's Akane, and he calls her Connie. Oh, Connie. That's new, I guess. Connie, Connie, are you all right? Jumpy. Uh. Oh man, Connie, what the hell happened to you? You, you feel. Jumpy, I'm sorry. Wait, how did she get here when I, we? We came through I here. Make it? No. The no fuck? Way. No way. I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. I feel like we missed something. Everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. I feel like we. The fuck, dude. Increasingly frustrated and increasingly worried, Junpei left the large hospital room. He had no choice. He would have to look for them. Junpei's heart was heavy. He couldn't shake the feeling, but there was a part of him that felt like it would be wrong to, even if he could. With every step he took, his legs felt more and more like lead. Sometime later, Junpei found himself back at the chapel. He stepped inside, expecting to find nothing. But on the red carpet in the center of the room, June. No, code names didn't matter any longer. She was Kane. Okay. I guess. I still, I feel like we missed something. Really happy. Well, don't give me that I was crap. You're going to see me again lots more times. You, you just got to hang on. All right, Connie? Chuffy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I well, I, I know what his plan was to get them back through the nine door. But I don't know how she got here and where Santa went. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding? What the hell are you talking about? No, it hasn't. I'm not going to let it end yet. I'm going to get out of here with Connie. Why? Shit. Wrong path. What are you talking about? I told you! I am not gonna lose! What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back, I promise. matter. I need to get Connie out first. C C Connie! Oh god. No. No. Where is she? Connie. Connie! What the fuck is going on, dude? Connie! Connie! Huh? Wait. This is... the fuck just happened dude I have no idea what the fuck just happened like the last 10 minutes of that 5 minutes of that was like incomprehensibly weird but hey we get actual credits for this ending so that's progress over the last one I guess right Last in the first inning, we didn't even get credits. We just got bad end in big letters on the screen. <laughs> Not a good end, just an end. Right?
But yeah, what the fuck, dude? I have no idea what just happened. Everything after we ran out of the incinerator room. I feel like it was missing so much. I know I'm not done yet. But holy shit, man. That was very confusing. end or is it question mark <laughs> I'm gonna go with no on that one chief holy shit dude I'm gonna go with no seek a way out seek a door that carries a nine yo we get like an anime opening It's time. Let our game begin. Hello? I've been playing 10 hours. <laughs> you can't say 10 hours is a prologue. That's illegal. So that ending is the, uh, the safe ending. Oh, what is that? What's that icon? What does that icon mean? Is that just an ending? Because the axe does not have that icon. Is that just a normal end icon, I guess? Oh shit, there's even more shit here now. There's even more icons here. There's no legends though. I don't know what any of these mean. So, what does it mean? Does it, the red, I got all these red keys to open this red lock at the end, and I get a yellow key from getting that ending, I think. There's not a, uh, a legend or anything, but I think it's like red keys, which makes sense because they're all on this middle path. So it's like you went straight through, you get that you can un unlock this and you go left here. So if you went different paths, like if I go through this door here, I'd miss those red keys. And then when I get here, I would get, this is probably a bad end. If you don't know the key to the safe, I'm guessing. Cause if you go this, yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. That makes some form of sense. Because if I go this way, I don't go through the, the big fancy room. So he wouldn't keep that room open. So I'd get stuck into a bad ending. Okay. 